Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show 5 tip tricks for character animation in After Effects. Let's get started. So welcome back friends and in this part I will show how to prepare vector files for animation in After Effects. Also, we can use Photoshop files for create animation and for create good animation, you need a good drawings. So how we can do this? Here is my designs with Photoshop. I use it XBPen while drawing. If you are a beginner, I recommend XBPen's products to you. We can see here products for beginner or pro artists. There are more products. Artist Pro 14 Gen 2 or Artist 24 driving display and other products. Also, we can see here pins, bags and other device. So also, I want to show you official YouTube channel XBPen. There are more tutorials, interview videos and other tips and tricks for beginner or pro artists. Subscribe to the channel for news and also follow Instagram, Facebook, TikTok and Amazon store. For example, I will use this character. First, let's zoom to here and let's hold Ctrl Shift, select this part and let's zoom to here. Again, hold Ctrl Shift, select this part and let's back to here, Ctrl X go to create new layer and control F not control V okay let's see nice let's add name one and hide layer let's again select this part again hold control shift select this control X and create new layer control F change name two and let's see okay and I want to make this part smooth let's again select this part and click A in keyboard, select this point and this point, let's make smooth. Okay, that's all. Let's see. Nice. Let's hide layer 2. And I want to make this part. Let's open inside here. And let's see. Nice. Open this group. Okay. And select this group. Let's create new layer. And select group again. Let's move the inside layer 5. Let's see. Okay. So, let's change layer 5 name 3. And we have three layers for rigging. This is layer 1, 2 and 3. Nice. Also, let's select this body. Hold Ctrl Shift. Select body and select this part. Let's zoom to here. Select this shadow and neck. Let's Ctrl X for cut and create new layer. Ctrl F. Change name body. Nice. So, let's make someone for these layers. Let's select these parts for layer 1 and select this finger elements and let's control X go to create new layer control F and change name 1 let's hide layer select this part control X create new layer control F change layer name 2 and hide layer okay let's open inside again here and select this part, let's create new layer and move to inside layer 9 ok, also let's select this line, let's move to inside again layer 9 nice and change name layer 3 ok, so let's select this layer phone, create new layer move to inside here, change name phone and hide these layers and let's create new layer again, select this group, move to inside layer 11, change name foods, move to behind here and hide layers. Ok, let's zoom to here and let's hold Ctrl Shift, select this eye bronze, Ctrl X, create new layer, Ctrl F, add the name eye bronze. Ok, let's hide layer and select these mods again hold ctrl shift select mods ctrl x create new layer ctrl f add name mods and hide layer then let's open inside here create new layer and i want to select these face layers let's select this face group move to inside layer 14 change name face elements let's see okay and then let's select this layer 3, change name here. Ok, let's enable for see difference. This is mods layer, face elements, 
eye bronze and foot foam and hand layers okay we have problem let's select this layer one two and three move to behind here nice very good and select this phone move to behind here layer one okay and select this head and modes face elements eye brown move to up okay we have problem with here let's zoom to here and select this here control x and create new layer control f change name hair back and move to behind to body okay let's import this character to after effects so after open after effects let's go to project and right mouse import file select this your vector change import as conversation return line size click import and let's open conversation nice right now we can make rigging for this character So friends, for hand rigging, I will use Duke Angela. Let's go to window and let's open Duke Angela. And after opening Duke Angela, let's go to here and let's select pen tool. Let's make line for bones. Let's make one like this here and here. And don't click section tool. Go to click this icon and click here. Let's click arm. Okay, we have bone system. Let's select first bone and change bone name one. Select this bone, change two, and this bone, chain three. Okay, right now let's select this layer one, link to bone one. Select this layer two, let's link to bone two. And finally select this layer three, link to bone three. Select bones and let's go to auto rig, click here and click ignore. Here we go, we have rig system. Select this controller, let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's select this controller, go to icon, and let's move to left a little bit, or move right. Let's see, nice. Right now we can make animation. For example, select this controller, let's press P, make new passing keyframe, and go to some seconds. Let's move to left, and go to here, move to right. And let's see. Nice. So I want to show another rig system with Duik Angela. Let's select its character hand layer and let's go to solo, zoom to layer and go to puppet pin. Let's add one puppet here, one here and one here. Click session tool and let's select this hand layer. Go to FX control, select puppet. And let's go to window, open again Duke Angela, and let's click this icon, go to add pins, don't forget to select puppet here, and click ignore. So right now we have three pins, let's see, okay, and I want to make IQ system, let's select this puppet pin 3, link to puppet pin 2, select puppet pin 2, link to puppet pin 1. Select three puppets and back to Duke Angel. Let's click kinematics and I key. Nice. Let's close Duke Angel. And we have no one controller. Let's unsolo all layers. Select this controller. Let's see. Okay, very nice. So again, I can make animation. Select this controller. Let's press P. Make new passing keyframe. Go to here. Let's move to back and here, move to left or up, let's see, okay very easy and very fast rig. So in this part I will show you how to make wall cycle with shape layers. We have 5 shape layers, this basically simple shape layers and let's select this foot left and foot right, let's press P and let's make new keyframes and let's change like this foot right let's move to left and foot left move to right okay so let's go to 10 frame 
For shortcut, you can use hold shift press page down in keyboard or click here, right plus 10. For go to 10 keyframe, click OK. And select this foot right. Let's move to right. And select this foot left. Move to back like this. Let's see. Okay. So go to 10 keyframe again. And select first keyframes. Let's copy pass. And select work area. Let's select like this. And let's animation. Okay. So select keyframes. Let's right mouse, keyframe ascent, and easy is for smooth animation. And let's select this foot right. Go to here, center. And let's move to up. And this four step animation. Let's see. Okay. And select this foot left. Let's go to here. Let's move to up. Okay, very nice. So let's select these chain frames and let's control C. Go to here, control V for loop animation. And again, make someone for foot left, select chain frames, control C. Go to here, control V for pass. Okay, let's change work area. Let's see. Nice. So, go to first second, select this body and go to pan behind icon. Move the anchor point down. And click section 2. Let's press P and make new passing keyframe. Go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it down. Go to 10 keyframe again. Select first keyframe. Copy plus. Select keyframes. Let's make easy easy again. Let's see. Okay, let's go to first second and hold shift press air open rotation. Make rotate keyframe. Let's change rotation minus three. And go to here. Change two. And go to last keyframe. Again, select first keyframe. Copy pass for loop animation. And make keyframes easy. Okay, so I want to make loop animation with three keyframes. Let's go to here, hold ALT, click this time icon and go to play button, property and loop out duration. For down this expression, click this empty area. Again, make someone for this rotation, hold ALT, click this time icon, go to play button, property and loop out duration. Click here and close like this, let's see. Nice. So select this here shape layer, press P and don't forget to move the anchor point down. Click session two and make new passing keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframe, move it down, go to 10 keyframe, select first keyframe, copy pass. And let's hold Alt, click this time icon, go to play button, property and loop out duration. Click here for done expression and select keyframes. Let's make easy and let's select this body, press U for C active keyframes, select all keyframes, let's hold Alt, move to left for random dynamic animation let's see very nice and select hit shape frames hold alt move to left nice very good also we can select this here let's link to body okay very dynamic walk cycle animation so friends final part i want to show i rig and animation with shape layers we have two shape layers, white and black. First, let's select this white and control D for duplicate and move it up. Select this black and go to here. If you not see this part, click toggle switch modes. After see this part, click none and select alpha matte white too. Right now I can move this black layer inside white shape layer like this. Let's control Z and let's select this white two layer link to white layer select this white layer press s open scale and click this icon for change scales let's see okay we can make eye blink animation with this way and let's make animation make scale keyframe go to three keyframe for shortcut you can use page down or click here again let's go three keyframe one two three and change scale five Go to 3 keyframe again, 1 to 3, change 100, select these scale keyframes, let's make easy or click F9, let's see, nice, and select these 3 keyframes, Control C, go to here, 
Control V for random eye blink in select work area. Let's see. Okay, let's say first three frames moved right a little bit. And this. Okay, and select this black. Press S, change scale. And select this black. Go to first second here. Press P. Make new pass in three frame and go to two three frame. One, two. And let's move to like this. Okay, select three frames. Make easiest. And this very important way, select these two chain frames, move to here, and we can see here scale and movement chain frames all in way. Nice. And go to here, make new passing chain frame, go to two chain frame. Let's move it down. Let's see. Okay, go to here again, make new passing chain frame, go to two chain frame, move it up. Okay, and in this time, make new passing chain frame. Go to two chain frame. Move to like this, and three chain frames. Move to center here. Let's see. Nice. Again, make new passing chain frame. Go to two chain frame. Let's move to up like this, and go to here. Make new passing chain frame. Go to two chain frame. Move to down, and finally go to here. Make new passing chain frame. Go to two chain frame. And select first chain frame, copy pass. Select chain frames, move to central here. And select work area, let's see. Nice. And let's go to here. Select this eye blink animation, control C, control V. Let's see. Nice, very good. This is very dynamic ice animation. So we can select these three frames, move right a little bit, and this move right. Nice. So thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.